Hello everyone, I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. Have you ever sent a single email to multiple people? There is there are numerous ways to send it. But today in this video you will learn a professional method to send a single mail to a, to different people at once. That is mail merge in Outlook using Microsoft Word. Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Word both are the product of same company which is Microsoft. Mail merge in Outlook allow you to personalize letters, emails or documents by, by merging information from the database. You can merge information from the contact list available in your Microsoft Outlook or you can use it to send professionalized emails, letter or envelope to print out labels. So first of all, what is mail merge in Outlook? Mail merge technically help the user send many emails merged with attachment or without attachments to Outlook 365 emails to the group of people in a single click without knowing anyone in the group. Most of the users like marketing executives or your financial advisor or your electricity bills. These are some of the in all these cases, you will get a specific email, but they don't send you the email individually. They designed a format to send a single email to different people at once. So let's dive in and understand how it works. Before starting, you have to open Microsoft Word. Click on the blank document. Now here, you have to click mailing. In the start mail merge, there is an option. Click here, select email messages so it will open the sheet you can create your email message here again click on start mail merge click here step by step mail merge wizard when you click on it a small mail merge wizard appears here the first option is start document type what type of document are you working on so i want to send an email so i just select email which is already by default selected Next is email messages. Send email messages to the group of people. You can personalize the email message that each person receives. Click next to continue. This is a simple information in the first stage. So here you can see step one of six. This is the first step. So you have to click next starting document. Click on here. Now the next is select starting document. How do you want to set up your email message? Using the current document, start from the template or start from the existing document. So I click here existing document. If I click start from the template, start from the template, I have to upload the template already saved in my system. Or if I click use the current document, so this keep my document as it is. Now next option is step two of six. This is the second step so I have to click next select recipients this is the very important stage so simply hit next now select recipients use an existing list select an outlook contacts or type a new list you can manually create your new list there is another option use an existing list when you click this use an existing list you have to select your existing list you have already created or prepared in Excel or in, in any other format. So by default, you have to only upload the format you have already created in Excel. Next is select from Outlook. So I select this because this is more comfortable because I am related to the Outlook. So I am select this. Now select the Outlook content. Select names and addresses from an Outlook content folder. Simply click choose content folder when I click on it see select content dialog box appears I have two email addresses the above email address consists of 135 contact and the second email address have 10 contacts so I select this because the major part of my person I want to send the email are available in this email contacts click here click OK see all the emails are lined up here all the information is lined up here now all the emails are selected because if i want to select some specific emails only i can deselect the entire email list and select the email according to my requirement so i just select this say 
this, 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 and this for instance. Now you can also refine your recipient list. You can sort it, filter, you can find duplicates. These are some of the other options you can use here also, but this is not necessary here for me. So I just leave as it is. Now I have selected some email addresses and I want to send the email to this, these persons. So next is click OK. Now this con contact list is added here. Now then I have to click next, write your email message. So simply hit, so here, write your email message. If you have no, not already done so, write your email message now. To add recipient information, your message, click the location on the message and then click one of the items below. So first of all, you have to create your message here. So I have created a sample message and I simply paste here. Now I have paste my mail here. Now the next step is I have to enter the name and address of the person. So what I have to do, I have to go to insert merge field, click on it. And these are the headings already available in my contacts, which are automatically fetched here. So I have to enter the first name. So I just enter first and I put a space here. Now again, insert merge field, put last name. Now and I hit enter on the next line. I want to type the address again, hit enter. Now the city hit enter and the country reason. Apart from this, I also want the name of the person to be changed here also. So I select put my cursor here, click here, first name, space and the last name. Adjust the alignment. Now it's all done. Now the next option is preview your email message. Click on here and you can see, now you can see that the, you can change the preview with different members. Simply hit here and you can see, see the name and the details are changing very easily. You can also make changes. You can also change your recipient list. You can edit the recipient list. You can further add few more members if you need. If you want to remove some members, you can very easily uncheck those members. Simply hit OK. Now, the next step is complete the merge. When I click here, my email address with all the members, their names are already all set to be sent. Now click here, electronic mail. When you click here, merge to email, message options. The first option is two. When I click here, you can see multiple options. These are the options which are automatically fetched from your contacts. So here I want to send this email to their email address, obviously. So I select here, email, email address. Now you have to type the subject. So I type to who it may concern. And I can also change the mail format here. You can send this mail via attachment or you can send this by plain text or HTML. I, I, I keep it as HTML. Now simply hit OK. Now you can see a, a flick here. Every mail takes a few seconds of time and all set. So when I open my Outlook, go to my sandbox. Now here you can see all my emails to whom it may concern us are sent to their concerned people at once. The timing and the date are same. That way you have simply created a single email and send that email with the respective names and addresses to their to respective people.
I hope you found this video useful. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe this YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.